Hey guys, I'm Janet on the Cajun, and today we are playing, uh, it's gonna be another Danan campaign. Uh, I like the word Danan. Danan. Danan, Danan, Danan. We're playing another campaign. Uh, it's the Ajax and Diomedes DLC that I have early access to, which is fun. Uh, we're playing as Diomedes. I think Diomedes should be a bit of a laugh. Uh, I haven't played, like, basically any um, of, uh, of this DLC yet. I played it, you know, like, the first ten turns, just so I could see what the new mechanics are, but I haven't really got into his epic quest or anything yet, so, um, should be fun to sort of discover his story. And, uh, also, his unique faction units. We've got renowned axemen, uh, Argive, swordmasters, heroic axe runners, and knight runners. Not to be confused with the Skaven, uh, knight runners. I'm assuming these ones are human. And uh, not rats of unusual size, but um, yeah, big, big on axe and sword infantry and uh, quick flanking units, which I really find exciting in a game like this to have sort of lighter troops and to sort of work on flanking enemies. Um, that I think is where most of the fun is derived. I, I prefer that over a sturdy front line with some archers behind like Ajax has. So Diomedes definitely, definitely seems to be more my play style, I think. So um, Argos is finest, one of the uh, Epigoni probably saying that wrong, Diomedes can call on his companions, veterans known as the Strategos, to train troops for him. Any Strategos aligned with Argos can train Paragon units, granting them an additional edge in battle. Once training is complete, the Paragon unit can be recruited and a new one trained. So that's actually a really fun um, mechanic because you get different Strategos that give different bonuses. So it's basically just a way to sort of add um, sort of a modifier to your units, a very powerful modifier to any unit you can recruit, you can add a modifier to, depending on which Strategio is the one that decides to, you know, that you decide to have trained them. It's really interesting. It's a nice way to customize your armies. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is it's a bit, mm, it takes a little while. So you're never going to be able to customize, like, every single army um, in that way. But certainly for Diomedes' army, we should get him some unique stuff. So once training is complete, yeah, it can be recruited. Uh, so Master Strategist Diomedes' legendary strategic mind allows him to dominate other factions in battle, then bully them into doing his bidding. Completing special military objectives against enemies grants Argos a unique resource known as Dominance. By spending dominance, Diomedes can uh, intimidate less powerful rulers into entering clearly unfavorable diplomatic agreements. So this is interesting. I don't, I don't know how often this will be useful, but it will be incredibly useful in a pinch. You know, when we do need it, uh, there will be a time where we'll call on our um, uh, dom uh, dominance. That's the one. I was going to say domination. No, call on our dominance to get what we want, and it's going to be very powerful when we do. So, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for us. Also, favor of Athena goes up plus one per turn, which actually means that just it goes down less slowly, because you're always losing favor of gods, but also plus six percent to charge of all units for his army. So the legendary hero Diomedes was renowned as one of the deadliest and most cunning military commanders to enter the fray against Troy. A seasoned veteran despite his young age, he had already participated in more battles than his peers at the onset of the Trojan War. A paragon of heroic virtues, he was the goddess's uh a so he's the goddess Athena's favourite and possessed such skill in battle that he was said to have wounded Ares himself. Diomedes slipped inside the walls of Troy with Odysseus to steal the Palladium and was one of a handful of warriors who hid inside the Trojan horse to bring about the impregnable city's downfall. Athena granted him immortality after his death. I feel like she should have done it beforehand, but, you know, we're playing on hard and hard, and uh, let's go forge our legacy. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy. 
just as the gods intended. O oh, Diomedes, chosen of Zeus, will you rise to the challenge of the coming war? Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Ancient Argos has already reached new heights under your rule, and your capital is second only to Mycenae itself in wealth and prestige. Warriors of Argos, our time has come. The Corinthians, eternal enemies of the Argives, have boldly taken Erchomenus. Now they dare to advance on Argos itself. Defeat them to remove this threat to Achaea and bring stability to your lands. The shadow of your father, King Tydeus, still hangs over you. His ill-fated mission to conquer Thebes ended in disaster and death. You have already taken revenge upon the city in his name, but now rumors abound that an ill wind blows around Thebes. With wisdom and courage beyond your years, it is time for you to surpass even your father's achievements. Lovely, Argos's finest and master strategist and paragon warriors. We've been through all of that already. So, first objective, lead the charge, defeat an enemy belonging to the following faction in battle, the Corinthians. Well, I can do that. I can do that. The enemy has gathered before you and is vulnerable to a swift offensive. Now is the time to strike. Order your men to attack and defeat the opposing force. May the gods of war, Athena and Ares, grant you victory and honour in battle. And we'll get some food and bronze out of it. So, um, first off, if we have a look, we're not earning any stone. So that is something we'll need to watch out for, but we're getting some food in. We're getting a fair amount of food in, mostly thanks to the fact we have a, we have a port settlement, at least. And, um, yeah, we're getting a fair bit of wood, fair bit of bronze. So good selection, but construction is going to be a nuisance, so we will need to focus on that. Can I just say, this is one thing I really love about Troy. Just, I love having separate resources. It means you actually have to sort of consider things that you otherwise wouldn't. Like, now, I'm thinking I might declare war on these guys before long, because they have stone that I need. You know, otherwise I'd probably just leave them alone and sort of start heading more towards Troy. But actually, I'm like, yeah, that might be useful to us. So these guys better watch it. So I like it. I like that. But first off, um, we're obviously at war with people. So there's really no need to uh, make decisions. But what is nice, if we have a look, uh, Master Strategist. That's the one. I'm almost doing them a favor. I am always doing them a favour. Anyway, you can you can go now, advisor. Thank you. Thanks, Greek Santa. So, uh, renowned as a master strategist, Diomedes is able to inflict stunning defeats on his enemies, crippling their ability to wage war. By fulfilling special military objectives against rival factions, you can collect a unique resource called Dominance. And uh, this is where we get it. So, uh, what is nice is this will be a list of all the people we're at war with right now. The list is a bit short. But if we click on it, we can actually see what the different uh, different tasks we've been given are, these different objectives. So we can defeat their faction leader in battle. That'll give us 50. And uh, we can't see where he is because we don't know where he is just yet. But uh, conquer the capital settlement. We'll get 60 dominance for taking Corinth, which we can see is up here. So that's nice. Uh, if we go back to it. Uh, here we go. Uh, sack or raise uh, Stymphalos. Probably pronounced that wrong, but, you know, I'm not Greek. I don't know. And also, uh, Lalos. Kill kill him. So, presumably, that's you there. There he is. So, let's start. Let's start ticking off some of these objectives. So, no god is on our side. Well, you know, we haven't really proven ourselves yet, so that's understandable. I have the hiccups. Great time to have the hiccups. It's always when I start recording a new series, I get hiccups. I know. I know. It's just... It's just... Tradition at this point. So, let's fight him. Weather conditions. Uh, I don't really mind what the weather's like. I don't mind at all. So... Let's get... Yeah, I think we're just going to run straight in. It's going to be pretty simple. I don't think we're going to actually try and do any flanking. Um, sort of any big flanking manoeuvres, because it's quite a small army. So I won't send people like up and around that way. I'll just try and peel off, you know, just slightly and get into them. In fact, if we're going to do that, may as well put both of them on one side. 
Uh, you can hang out in here. Diomedes out in front. And we're just going to charge everyone in like a lunatic. So, in you get, lads. In you get. Oh, of course, there is this that we need to go around, which could prove a bit annoying. But uh, they seem to be on the move over here, which is interesting. I do wonder if they're actually going to hang out here and uh, properly guard this little area. If they do, I just won't attack them. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just go around the other way. But it doesn't look like they're going to. Which is sort of perfect. So we do have these uh, Argive Raiders. I keep wanting to say Agive, and I think maybe that might be correct. Like, to me, just instinctually, that just feels right to say Argive, but it might be Argive, um, as the advisor pronounced it, Argives, um, before. But, uh, you know, it's not always correct, is it? So one bug that will happen a lot, and I'll probably forget about it, and, you know, it'll happen a lot. Uh, at the moment, giving attack orders for ranged units, they won't actually move into attack range. So if I if I wasn't in range and I said to attack, they just stand still. Unable to attack anything. Which is really ruddy annoying, I must say. Okay. Perfect. Let's start attacking these spearmen. They're probably going to try and get some flanking in, but these guys are pretty good. These archive raiders. Not half bad. Okay, let's get everyone moving around. So we've got the Might of Athena, which gives us plus 30% melee attack, and uh, plus 300% Aristea points. And I never use Aristea, I always forget. And, oh, you guys just got taunted, did you? Well, fair enough. So, I'm going to try and chase them down. Uh, those guys are getting shot in the back, and our Argive Raiders seem to be doing the job, so good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with how this is going. You guys keep chasing them down. And we'll try and get a nice rear charge into these spearmen over here. Is under attack. Yeah, but, you know, I did rush him into combat. It's odd that he's only just now under attack. So, you know, it's all good. So, way over here, it does look like these spearmen have broken. Perfect. Though, eh, there's not really much for our slingers to attack right now. Well, maybe there is, actually. Those spearmen are really just on that one edge. They're not really mixed in with the rest. I'll keep chasing them just because I can. And that ranged fire. Brilliant. Already starting to break some units. Which is good to see. Our young spears, not great units, young spears. So they will take a lot of damage in this. Which is why they're quite nice flanking forces. They can help break things, but they aren't having to do much heavy lifting. As, uh, as a result of that, basically as a result of getting into combat there. Also, one thing that's a bit different to the last campaign we played is we now have the Blood DLC installed, which um, I didn't have earlier because it wasn't released. So, you know, that's a thing. You can see all the grass getting stained in blood, which is a bit a bit disgusting. But um, it's more exciting, isn't it? More exciting. So, let's end the battle. Decisive victory. Alright, good stuff. Also, there is blood on these little bits too, so we didn't manage to kill him. So we will need to chase him down, but we are going to go with uh, take them on, because I want the replenishment, so we can keep this pace going. So, these men are, good, uh, are of good skill and brave heart. Should they swear allegiance to our cause in front of the gods, we shall embrace them as our own. How gratifying. Oh, no, we did kill him. We did kill them, did wipe out the unit, so um, we should have got the uh, objective done there. So we got the, the quest, but I think we also got the, uh, what do you call it? The Master Strategist objective, which is sort of different. I don't really know what to call those, honestly. Huh. Not sure. Anyway, the, the Dominance Points mission, I don't know. The enemy is gathered before you and is vulnerable to the swift. Yeah, we just did that, don't worry. Now, muster the troops. We need to get up to 12 troops, and currently we have 7. We can get that. The number of men you command will need to grow in order to meet the challenges ahead. Recruit more combat units and swell the ranks of your armies. So, um, obviously I did mention a bug in that previous uh, battle, you know. There will be bugs, because it's early access, there are always a bunch of bugs. There's always a bunch of things that have just suddenly stopped working, as they've tweaked a bunch of stuff here and there, but it gets ironed out in early access. Just This happens with every Total War release. Um, there's always a bunch of stuff that's sort of a bit squiffy, that's got a bit weird, and it gets reported and they fix it, you know. 
or it's stuff they've already fixed in a, in a build that just hasn't been pushed yet or whatever. Um, so basically, if you see anything wrong, just let me know in the comments. I can pass it on to them and we can get it fixed before, uh, you know, before release, which would be nice. Um, so I could either give himself, okay, it's five per second. So it's, it's a assault and battery is something that's an ongoing ability that stays on so long as we still have, um, uh, rage. But I prefer this one, I think. So this one, we can target an enemy, so this can help out a different fight or one that he's in. So it'll halve enemy melee defense, which means that we can kill them twice as easily. So I prefer that, especially because you can, you know, if if there's a fight nearby that you want to help out on while Diomedes is doing his own thing, you can, you can still sort of swing um, a fight on a flank or something using that, which is really useful. So I like that skill. It's Athena a good skill. Was with us. Um, so, I don't think we need to hang about. Let's just go straight for the town. And uh, so we'll be quite close, but not so close that I'm not willing to jump in and start, uh, start stabbing people. So let's start stabbing people. Alright, weather conditions again. I've got no preference. So. Axes! I'm actually amazed we lost so many of those young spears. But I guess they did have their uh, hero fighting them quite a bit. It was, it was him that sort of tried to stop the flanking manoeuvre. Um, so I'm not really sure where to attack here. May as well go straight in the middle. And I'll, I'll peel people off if and when we need it. So I don't much like having to charge across the river. I don't want to get stuck in here fighting. But then I guess it's mostly uh, cavalry that... Um, can sort of get an advantage in there, but they don't have any large units, so I can probably afford to just push on through. Okay, so let's kind of have a look at the scenery. It's just it's just nice scenery. It's rather lovely. Anyway, um also the nice uh the soft sort of mountains in the background. You can turn off uh, depth of field and have them really crisp, but I just like that sort of soft thing in the background. What I don't like though is it applies to the campaign map as well. So the really cool illustrations of, of mountains right in the back, they get blurred as well. Which is something, it's not a bug, I don't think. I don't think you can really consider it a bug, but it's something that I'd quite like to see remedied. That like, the background is exempt and wow, look at the blood just falling into the water there. Ugh. Grim. Grim. It's actually flowing down, as you can see. How cool is that? The nice touches to how, like, the campaign sort of interacts. Um, not the campaign. How, like, you know, effects interact with the maps. Some good stuff there in this title. Some nice little, uh, modernizations. It's very cool. Alright, so not a lot of flanking going on, huh? Looks like they might be able to, though. I think I'm going to pull these young spears out, actually. Those young spears are definitely, definitely going down. Hopefully we can get this guy, though. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, well, I'm not really sure what to do about these guys. They're just going to keep chasing these guys. You know what? Let's just pull out, like that way. Okay, you're, you're freaking out. Stop it. Alright, just kill uh, Admetos here. There we go. Now I can... Come on. Now I can get a proper flank. If I can flank these guys, I can break them and I can start just going down the line. Should be fine. I mean, they're trying to do the same on this side. Luckily, though, we do have our hero as an anchor there who is absolutely dumpstering theirs, which should lead to some rather nice debuffs to their leadership, but... Uh, Ugh, I hope these Axemen can hold. I really do. They're not really supposed to be sort of tanking like that, you know? Alright, you're going to shoot them too. Okay. That'll be a nice debuff if they suffer some range damage. Hopefully you won't shoot the uh, Argive Axemen too much, but... Alright, come on guys. These guys need to break so we can push around. Are you done yet? Come on. Let's lower his melee defense so we can't keep doing this. There we go. Alright, you now. Yeah, they better be. Alright, go for those islanders. You guys keep chasing, you're super injured, and we have enough 
spare units to flank here. So it's all good. Alright, spread right out so we can get maximum sort of charge here. Maximum impact. You know, get a hit on every single one of the enemy all at once. And yeah, look at their leadership and health. Just plummet there. Perfect. I'm so glad these Argo Vaxmen are hanging out. You know, they're hanging in there. Despite all this. Okay. Some damage. There. Those Islanders are doing a little bit too well. In terms of hit points. Hey, nice little wrap around them, though, here. So they are pretty well surrounded. I'm amazed this guy is still hanging in there. We were kicking the absolute snot out of him before. See, this is another thing I really like with, um, with Troy. The fact that, sort of, units will keep... Um, you're stuck, aren't you? Okay, did that loosen you up a bit? There we go. There we go. Now we're fighting again. That's more like it. So, yeah, there are a lot of the enemies starting to run. I'm amazed these Axemen just... They hang... They, they're able to hang in there a lot longer than I was expecting. But yeah, shame that Diomedes got a bit stuck walking towards him in slow motion like that. So I was going to say, I love how everyone gives them space and they can have like a big old proper fight without any disturbances, but <laughs> Diomedes already seemed a little disturbed. Bless him. Bless his cotton socks. Anyway, so no need to chase anyone down, because it's a siege battle, so we've, we've got, you know, it's a settlement battle, so we, we've got the settlement, they're all dead. Brutal. Brutal. Alright, good job, lad. Uh, let's look quiet. Don't do anything uh, fancy, we'll just take it. He's daring. This is great, actually. This is really good, getting extra campaign movement range. That, I think, is just the best stat to increase. Just any trait I get, I hope it's this one. Because generally, I don't really need much help in the battles. You know, I could do without just some random thing that is like plus 5% leadership for your army when fighting this culture or whatever. Like, I don't care about that. Like, I never see it make a difference. But campaign movement range is huge because it lets you actually get on top of an enemy army. Um, so you can actually take the fight to the enemy. It's much, much more useful. So, mere minutes after the um, plan has been agreed, this one could be found in the very thick of action, risking life and limb, or in the very thick of a big horse. Yes, can't wait to get inside a big horse. So, let's get some more recruits. Um, so, although I want to be pretty flank heavy, um, I think I do want a core of spearmen that can hold the line a little bit. So I will get some more spearmen. They are very good for holding the line. And... Oh, get a bit of a frame drop there. That's bizarre. Anyway. Um, could be my system being a pain. I've had that happen a lot lately. Like, I've had a bunch of, um... Like, Windows updates recently. And every new update seems to just sort of confuse the hell out of my PC. It's very annoying. Windows updates, guys. Just... Ugh. Uh, let's go with the Tin Trader. Uh, as an integral part of the bronze-making process, trade in tin has become a profitable business in its own right. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, Argos. So I think we do have some unique buildings here. We've got the army supplier. Um, we've got the strategic camp as well, which is rather fun. Uh, grant student of war to all newly recruited heroes. I don't know what that stat is, honestly. Not a clue. Also grant student of war trait to all heroes who spent three turns in the region. We really should find out what that is, huh? Because that sounds lovely. But anyway, um, so a bunch of, bunch of unique buildings we can build, which is fun. So I like that. Plenty of stuff to build. So until then, I think... Oh no, we're not done for the turn yet. We need to do a royal decree. So what I will do, I usually go for gold early in most campaigns, just because it's nice to have that like begin to tick up. Um, you know, before you need it, really, because, you know, gold income, it's kind of sparse in this game, so you want to get it early, but we have no stone income, so royal stone to get that plus 80 stone out of nowhere, apparently, we have nowhere that we can get stone from, just, I was going to say we just pull it out of the ground, that's usually where you get stone from, so... <laughs> I guess that'll do, right? With stone, we shall build a legacy that will endure the ages, expand the warehouses at once, and it'll just magically show up, which is... You know, good of it, I suppose. Uh, okay. 
There's a commandment available as well. My bad. So, let's go with the... Uh, this one. Or, no? Yes. That's the one I want. Organize games, because I want happiness and growth. Lovely. And construction available. Yes, but I'm not going to build anything else just yet. And we've issued a decree. Nope, we have a mission to issue a decree, which is already on its way. So your people are eager to follow your orders, for it is through your wisdom that they will flourish. Issue a royal decree, and they will be put to work. Easy, mate. Easy. Um, commandment issued. Hooray, we did it. Now that uh, Argolis is secured, we have issued a commandment to benefit the people. Yay! Right, now we can go straight for this place. Um, we are very injured, mind you. Our army is looking a little bit uh, worse for wear. And that is actually like a fair garrison. So I might I might do a little bit more recruiting first. Because it does seem that their only army is just sort of hanging out down here for some reason. I'm not really sure what his game is, if I'm, if I'm honest. Really not sure. Because I don't see him being able to compete with any of our garrisons. Um, I mean, maybe, but, yeah, he won't. Uh, okay. I mean, that's fine. I'll do my duty. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to, uh, it's not Argos, it's finest. What do I want? Divine will. Oh, and actually, this is something I should have set up too, silly me. As a master tactician, Diomedes knows the value of elite training. He can call upon his heroic companions, the, uh, Apigoni, also known as the Strategos, to train the Paragons. So, basically, we can pick... Something that we want to train um, better, so let's say spearmen, and then we can pick how we want them trained. It'll even say how long it'll take each one. So uh, Polydoros, so there's a bunch of others that we can uh, unlock, supposedly. So uh, in fact, let's have a look. So here, uh, zoom to the Strategos region. So we need to actually take control of a certain place. In so we need to take over this area. Settlement, you have also gained the services of a Strategos. This Strategos, not Strategio, apparently, but that's fine. Also, we haven't taken it, mate. We haven't. We haven't done that. We haven't done that yet. But anyway, so we do need to take those uh, those places um, in order to sort of, you know, enlist these uh, Strategos, or Strategos, as I will keep saying it. I mean, it's Argos, it's not Arjos, so, you know, I should have I should have known, but anyway. Um, so, Polydoros here. Uh, if I'd love to point out the specific things. You'll just have to read along with it. So, uh, the mighty warrior Polydoros is said to have inherited the battle prowess and great mental discipline of his father, the hero uh, Hippomedon. The fearless warrior is known for his battle cry of victory or death. And uh, I mean, it's better than cake or death. So, Paragon units trained by uh, this uh, Stratigos um, gain the flanking defense improved attribute, which is quite handy for sort of like a one that you want to sort of stick around and you know make sure is uh, gonna gonna hold the line. So not bad for spearmen. It also gives plus thirty percent morale of paragon units trained by this uh, Stratagos and plus fifty percent to weapon damage as well. So spears actually have some pretty good damage. So they'll go from seventy to uh, what one hundred and fifteen or something like that, which is pretty good. Um, and then uh, ten loss. Stenelos, something like that. Stenelos, son of the great hero uh, Capanius, is intimately familiar with military strategy and tactics, having studied under various great commanders as an Argive prince. Uh, like his father, he is of mighty stature and possesses immense strength. He is also an accomplished charioteer, known for his swift and deadly charges. So, plus 60% to charge bonus, uh, plus 20% battle speed, and they get Strider. So, Strider, for anyone who doesn't know, um, that means you can just ignore terrain penalties. So, usually running up a hill, you'd go slower. Not if you have Strider. If you have Strider, you can go the same speed, whatever, nothing's going to slow you down. Um, so, really cool. So, extra 20% speed and that, really good for flanking units. And uh, Polydoros, really good for things like Spearmen. So, we'll do that for now. So, train Paragon. So now, they're getting trained. Uh, the Strategos has begun instructing one of your units in advanced military tactics. Once training is complete, you will be able to recruit a Paragon version of this unit from the Special Recruitment Panel. Don't tell me what to do. So, right, now, one more thing that I wanted to do. Divine Will. 
So here, Artemis, if we have a look here, uh, respected effect of prayers here, enables up to two warriors of Artemis to be recruited from forest settlements. We want warriors of Artemis because they're a really cool uh, archer unit that I haven't bothered to get at all yet, um, but I want one, so I'm going to do that. So, Artemis, uh, we're going to pray first. Let's see, do we have enough? We have plenty of food. So we're going to pray. No, we're not. I'm being silly. We're doing it the wrong way around. I'm going to do a Hecatomb. So now we're up to the respected level, which is enough to then uh, enable the effects if we do a prayer. Good. So the gods shall answer next turn. So our temples and rituals have pleased the gods. The omens clearly show their favour. It's about time. So the prayer effect takes a turn to kick in. Uh, I think I might go with some militia for now, and then we'll start getting uh, Warriors of Artemis, which do actually require a lot of food now that I look at it. We will need two turns worth of food if we want to get a couple, and I do want to get a couple. So, in fact, our plan for this this turn is to do nothing, which is sort of sad, actually, but that's fine. Probably should have done that last turn, but what does it matter? We've got things we need to do. My bad. Garrison here are not moved. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, construction available in Argolis. Um, yeah, here, presumably. I don't know. What do I want? Do I want anything? Oh, maybe. Maybe this one. Extra growth. Let's get a mud brick house. There we go. Moving on. Okay, so prayer answered. The priestesses ensure us that Artemis has heard our prayers and blesses our righteous cause. Our fervent prayer has proved our devotion to gods and mortals alike. Laying the foundations, buildings constructed in your cities grant benefits to your faction. More buildings will aid with the development of your kingdom. And with the war effort abroad, it only remains to choose what to construct. Yep, I can do that. And uh, another mission issued, uh, a thriving settlement. Upgrade the main building of any settlement. Developing a settlement increases the number of buildings that may be constructed within it. Expanding your facilities in this way greatly improves your ability to defend your borders at home and wage war abroad. Good stuff. Well, I can already do that, so might as well. Sadly, don't have enough wood to build um, the tin trader up again. I would like to get as much bronze as possible, because a lot of people will want bronze. So, uh, now I'm in a bit of a pickle where I'm sort of behind these guys on uh, military might. That's fine. There's definitely a few things I could have done, the two, like the turn... You know, in the first turn. So that way this turn I'd be ready, but... Eh. There's no rush. Okay, maintain 12 units in total. Well, I managed it. So the number of men you can command will grow... Uh, will need to grow in order to meet the challenges ahead. Such as this guy. Such as Clytios. Um, and we did, we did construct a building. Go us. Congratulations us. We're the best. So now that I've got some archers, and I've got some spearmen, although this is more the Ajax uh, route rather than the Diomedes route, it will help us in minor siege battles where they've just got a few little choke points, um, because we can just have the spearmen hang out pretty much forever while the archers kill a lot of things for us. So um, I'm actually quite confident that despite being outnumbered, we should be able to deal with these guys. So what's the garrison? Nine. So they got 14, we got 12. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We have better units here. We have these jolly good archers that I presume are jolly good. I mean, they've got a bunch of archers too. So let's see. So we've got uh, 160 range, 29 missile damage. They've got 140 range, 11 missile damage. So that is a, a ludicrously big leap in missile damage. And they have stalk and sniping. Okay, that's nuts as well. That is super powerful. So the Warriors of Artemis not only have ludicrous missile damage, but they can also shoot while remaining hidden. So Stork means they can hide anywhere. They don't have to be, like, in trees or in long grass. They'll just be hidden, so long as someone's not close to them. And Snipe means that they'll remain hidden even when firing, which archers even hit hiding in trees or long grass. As soon as they start shooting, they're revealed, you know? So... That's nuts. That's nuts good, especially for countering other archers, because the other archers can't fire back, because they can't see what they're shooting at. So, I love that. That's really good. And Strider, so they can, they can get around pretty quickly too. Oh, that's wonderful. And Vanguard. So, yeah. I like these guys. I'm glad we got them early. Weather conditions. Once again, I'm, I'm happy with whatever. 
Uh, although clear sky is probably a good idea. I don't want to obscure or arch a fire or, you know, cause any uh, any fatigue loss that we don't need to. All right, so we're going to go that way. I'll tell you what, shall we just shoot down one side, maybe? Uh, also, 60 in a unit. I think most bowmen have 120, so although it's more than double damage, it's actually going to be slightly less than that because there's fewer uh, units. So that makes sense. That makes sense. I thought that was a huge leap. So individually, super deadly. But as a whole unit, you know, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Um, I'm actually tempted, you know, to use these spears over on this side. Because like I said, they can hold the line really well. So I could just have one hold the line on each side. And then I can just push right in through this way and grab that while I'm keeping a bunch of the enemies busy. Which uh, I think is probably a good shout. Okay. Yeah, and one of you can block this way too. And then I'll have one more blocked up. While probably you two push in this way. And you guys are also here. It's my plan. <laughs> you guys are also here. That's all I need. That's all I need. Okay. So yeah, it does look like they've got a bunch of stuff poised out here to attack. I just need to stay near so they, they stick around, I think. Alright, so you guys. And once again, I forgot if I give attack orders, look. They just stop. <laughs> so weird bug at the moment. But like I said, early access, this stuff happens. Okay. So we've got good shields on these spearmen, so the sword skirmishers are wasting their time here. I mean, they will do some damage, but not as much as we're going to do the to them. Has your hidden units. Okay, let's start getting some shots in. So let's see how this goes, huh? Ah, none dead yet. Alright, not the best. You know, fine. Not the best. Alright, you guys start marching in. And you start moving in that way. These guys are all still just staying around there, which is perfect. Really makes it easy for us. Oh, hello, Island Club Warriors. These guys must be from Ibiza. Okay, I don't know how they're running around like that. Okay, you guys move that way. Okay, I want to be able to shoot sideways into that lot. I might also get these axemen over here, because I'm a little concerned that they're all going to die horribly. I am going to try and flank, though, with that lot. So I'm going to shoot sideways into them, while I flank with, uh, with these guys. Okay, good. That should do it. Excellent. Yep, that's fine, and this is perfect. Alright. Buff yourself and start stabbing. Why well, you just stood there? You're not the brightest, are you, Diomedes? You're not the brightest. And let's ruin those light spearmen's uh, melee defense. Let's halve it. And let's start shooting those bowmen. Alright, how are you lot doing now? 19 kills. Zero for you. You know what? You shoot those bowmen. Should help. These guys should break momentarily. All we've done is lost some spearmen, so it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And Diomedes is crushing it by the looks of it. Bowmen are dying very quickly. And yeah, they're just not... Um, they're not doing great here, are they? Our enemies. These spearmen will hold uh, these young spearmen for a long time. They were getting shot at. For quite some time, which explains the uh, the damage they've taken. So they are actually shooting at us here, which is a bit rude. Let's move back a bit. We will take some damage as we retreat, but I don't mean range of their missiles. Seems a waste to me. So are they shattered yet? 
Yes, they are. Perfect. Alright, you guys move up and around. And... Oh, really? That's a shame. Alright, you start shooting those lights, spin. And... I have a feeling one of you guys should probably come this way. We'll try and get plank on these guys, too. But, you know, we've got some pretty good troops back here. They can charge into the back lines. Or oh, do I want to just wrap these guys up quicker? Screw it. You guys are moving in. And two-handed axes, you're moving up and around. And these light spearmen should be suffering a bunch of damage. Diomedes, only four kills so far. He's trying his best. A little sausage. <laughs> How are you doing? 60 kills, 70 kills. Very nice. 27 kills for them, so... You, know, you can see the archers are definitely doing better. Which is nice to see. So there's some islanders. There's still a bunch of units over here that just don't quite know what to do. Um, although it does seem they're starting to come in now. I think they've recognised the threat. So let's throw our spearmen in there just to slow down what we can. But we've done some pretty good work so far, so... Okay, you go finish him off, please. Uh, they're still broken. They're still running away. Oh yeah, and you double back. My bad. I set up the flank, but I didn't do the flank. Do the flank, guys. Do the flank. What is that? Go on. I think it's because there's one young spear sort of jutting out, so they killed him and went, brilliant, we did it. <laughs> Which is really quite sweet. It's really quite adorable. Yeah, they're all starting to blood in now. Oh, okay. So I don't like they've got him in the front line there. Either. Uh, right, you need to run up this way. You guys have been doing great. Proud of you guys. And where have we got other spearmen? Are there? Where, where do we have other spearmen? Oh, they're in there. Wait. No, there's another unit. Oh, they're both there, that's why. I was very confused as to where all our spearmen went. Alright, how are you doing here? Pretty well. Pretty well. Alright, start butchering him. You got you got red on you. Got red on you, mate. So young spears are broken, so they can come back. That's fine. They won't, probably. Put you guys on guard mode so you stop getting distracted. I'd rather you didn't. And yep, yeah, looks like all the archers in the back are hanging in the back, so we can kill them easily enough. Uh, this is a problem, though. This is definitely a problem. You really need to finish killing this guy. We really need to get Phineas. His furb won't be far behind. Yeah. Like, guys, come on. Keep moving. So one thing that does happen in this game a lot is people get very distracted. People get very distracted by, uh, by enemies that they sort of brush past. It'd be a bit of a nuisance. Come on, Diomedes, mess him up. Alright, doing some little maneuvers. Alright, let's lower his melee defense. Alright, he's getting wrecked. So, our Argive Raiders are doing really nicely. And I think our Spearmen should win that happily enough. Uh, they're still broken, which is perfect. Alright, they're broken. Good. And those sword skirmishes, please. Amazingly, these bowmen are still just totally chill. Come on, guys. <laughs> they're more of a holding force than... Uh, than a attacking one, but still. You know, at, at some point, you just got to say, come on, guys. <laughs> I, I know you can do better than that. Alright. Our bowman can't really get in an opportunistic spot here. No opportune spot to get into over there. But I guess that's okay. So they're shattered now. Alright, you start attacking those bowmen. Maybe that's why we should be attacking. Just start attacking those bowmen. Nope, because those islanders are good. Yeah, they're going to run away, those bowmen. And, alright, how are things looking over here? Yeah, those bowmen still going. Still going. Cheeky sods. Could I pull one of those guys out of combat? Probably. Ah, good. Nope, they're shooting into them. I did tell you to attack them, you know. Can you not reach? I don't think they can reach. Alright, try and get out of the way of the trees a bit. Not got many shots left, do you guys? 
Oh, you double back. Because we should have this capture point, and I don't think these guys are going to stay in the fight for very long. Now, you know? Oh, Battle of Power still seems to suggest that things are close, and I'm not sure why. Really not sure why. I think it's putting a lot of stock into these bowmen. And we're out of... Your warriors have been right. Yeah, we're out of ammo, these guys. Alright, start chasing down those bowmen. Keep chasing those bowmen. Okay, let's... Oh, nope, they're shattered. That's army losses. Hooray! We did it. Good job, Diomedes. Good job, mate. Good job, lad. Proud of you. So, end the battle. Close victory. Oh. Ah, oh, I don't think he's well. Yeah, I don't think he's well. He's looking he's looking behind him. People aren't supposed to be able to do that. Okay, so anyway, let's move on. Uh occupy. So I I did that by accident. I just realized I could have got more uh, dominance here. Because if we go to uh where is this? This one, it's this one. Uh sack or raise the settlement. So you could have sacked it or raise it fifty dominance. I know. Don't worry, there'll be more chance to get dominance. I'd rather just take it. Because uh, we don't have many settlements, and I'd rather just take the ones we can get, so, you know, I'm cool with it. Although, I do like the idea of trying to pursue those, um, even when they're not necessarily the most strategic thing, because it's, you know, they're points we can bank for later, when it might be useful. So, Sapper, you need a strong ba uh, you need a strong back and arms and no fear of confined spaces, of course. Oh, and the nerve by the cartload. So, minus one at siege holdout time, sounds useful. Uh, we never besieged for that long, so <laughs> I don't think it's going to make much difference. You never know, we might. We might end up besieging the next place, because uh, we don't have that big an army yet. Uh, fatigue reduction is just so useful, especially one that we're going to try and keep pretty mobile. So we're definitely going to go with fatigue reduction. Uh, now, though, probably just get some militia trained, because they're nice and cheap, but it gives us more bodies. And bodies are useful. Bodies are very useful. A, a thriving settlement. Upgrade a main building. We've done that. We have done that. Cult level down. Artemis is a bit sad with us now. And uh, mission issued. Have at least 100 dominance. Uh, you are... Uh, sorry, if you are to emerge truly victorious from this military campaign, you must devise strategies to utterly crush your rivals and cripple their very will to fight. Dominating your opponents in this manner will ensure that they are more receptive to diplomatic pressure, as their awe of the battlefield supremacy compels them to accept otherwise unfair deals. We should get some gold. Ooh. Lovely. So, uh, our commonos. Got some buildings to do. Could upgrade this so we can get, uh, yeah, Argive Swordsman. I like the idea of that. And also, let's get some more bronze. Goody. Oh, actually. Oh, let's get better growth. I think better growth sounds good. I want to start, uh, leveling these right up so we can access more elite units really early. That's what I want to see. For okay, so Corinth doesn't seem to have anyone home. Um, I mean, they've got nine people in the garrison, and they're probably healthy, whereas our units are not. But, I mean, how hard can it be, right? Oh, oh, okay, there is someone home. Okay, so this is now where I'm thinking, yeah, let's let's besiege the place for a bit. You know, we're not at war with anyone else yet. Don't hold Let's encircle back. it. And we will get food here, which is a good thing, because our food income isn't the best. It's not the best in the world. Or, in this case, Greece. It's not the best in Greece. So, we've got buildings available. Yes, we do. Uh, I don't want any of these. We need more wood if we're going to get buildings that we actually want. So, never mind then. Let's move on. Oh, they're going to attack us. Uh, so they will have two heroes, which is really the thing I'm worried about. Everything else, like, fine, we'll handle it. But uh, two heroes? That's a lot for Diomedes to do, and he's only on half health right now. But we'll see. We'll see. So what are they? A defender and a warlord. So presumably both of these would be quite good at dealing with us. Um, which I'm not happy about. Yeah, bones versus heroes, and 
Also bonus versus heroes, right? Yeah. But Diabetes also has bonus versus heroes, and he hits harder. So, and he has armor piercing, but, you know. Alright, that'll do. Um, so these guys can Vanguard, which is fun, and Stalk, so I don't really have to... Well, they're attacking me, actually, so they will be coming for me. So I've probably set up more of a defensive position. Maybe you guys just hang out over there. I don't need you in the forest, but, you know. Okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure what my plan is here. I think I'll just set up in a line. Have him in there. These guys will try and flank round the side, and these guys will flank by shooting things. An awful lot. So let's do it. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Yeah, let's speed this up. It's gonna take him a while to actually like get into uh, position. Quite some time, probably. So, let's squidge these guys up. You guys just hang out in the trees. That's fine. Look at you in the trees, too. You can give them all a bit of a startle. And you need to get somewhere, actually, where there's a... Uh... Oh. Still hidden, right? Yes, you are. Though the way they're moving definitely doesn't look like it. You know what I mean? Really doesn't look like they're hidden. Which has me a little concerned. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they really are moving like they know I'm here. I'm not happy with. So we've got a ludicrous amount of militia that I'll just try and push up and blank these guys. Uh, look at this! Like, look at this. This doesn't seem right at all. Like, I'm still hidden. The foe has sighted your hidden units. That's, okay, and now that they've seen me, they're scared. That's super weird. All right, you know what? Everyone get in. All right, everyone gets stuck in. Okay. Let's do that. Young Spears, keep him busy. All right, good. Yeah, you keep shooting these Young Spears. Oh dear. We're getting very flanked about here. Okay, I'm very confused about who's moving where. What are you all doing? Just kill those spearmen. Jeez. And I'm actually fine with that. Because while they're being held in place by our Kian slingers, we can just shoot into the back of them. We should kill them quite quickly. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to get wrecked. That'd be fun. And you start chasing those bowmen. And what a weird surround. I had people right on this side, and then I really have no idea what happened there. Your yeah, nice. Are losing heart. Oh, they're fine. I mean, they are getting a bit shot by our own guys, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, they got broken. They're getting chased off, which is perfect. You guys, come on. You know what? You guys, come over here. Go attack those bowmen. Ugh, oh, don't know they're getting shot at like that. It's a bit... It's a bit sad. They're getting shot to bits. I mean, we're getting shot to bits over here. That's okay. Mostly. Your warriors have been routed. Where? Which ones? Oh, them. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's go for this guy first, because he's super injured. Let's lower his melee defense. It seems like our uh, axemen are tearing him apart. Which I'm happy about. And now they're all getting really, really disrupted. Let's go for those islanders next. And yeah, it does seem like we're getting on top of all their archers rather nicely. Alright, give yourself some bonus damage and slap this guy silly. 
Oh, he's broken. All right, slap this guy, silly. Perfect. And, oh my god, Bowman are charging straight into the front lines. We're accidentally flanking some of the enemy. Which I'm cool with. 80 kills and 70 kills, not half bad. It's kept our troops in the fight here. Except these guys, but they don't count. For reasons that I shan't explain. Look at this, it's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. It's fine. Okay. Keep chasing them, please. I think you're done chasing them, though, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, shoot those young spears, please. So, you guys are nice and quick, so... Yeah, when you actually listen to orders, you're nice and quick. Okay, you guys are pathetic. Come on. What are you doing? 38 speed. How are you getting slowed down like this? Alright, shoot them. Oh, they're broken. Shattered, in fact. Alright, they're still going. Guess you can keep chasing them. I mean, we've won this pretty... pretty happily. <laughs> Amazing light spirits. Okay, now they're broken. That took them a long, long time. Okay, go for these light spearmen, please. They are broken, but their leadership is going up a fair bit. Okay, good. And these renowned slingers are actually doing quite well. Uh, let's turn about that way. Xanthos. We can keep chase with Diomedes. Alright, well I think we're about done, aren't we? One of your units has no more ammunition. That's okay. He had enough informa information he had enough ammunition to last the battle. And information. He had enough information. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you guys better run. Close victory. Nice. So, uh, they attacked us, remember. So they're going to go back into uh, into their settlement, but we did wipe out a bunch of their units, and their heroes are on pretty low health now. So I don't like their odds if we do decide to attack them. Also, we can get some more uh, replenishment, so we'll be even better off than we are. Okay, maximum strength. Start a turn with 20 units in a single army. I can do that. Easy. Just give me a minute. Too busy conquering with less troops than that. Um, the spectrum of war clouds... Um, the spectrum of war clouds the horizon in all directions. Increase the size of your forces further. For the battles to come, we'll tax your strength. Alright. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Um, so, I don't like the idea of auto-resolve taking a bunch of troops away from us. Um, so I could just attack them and then win. That would be good. I could probably kill most of these guys with just the, the warriors of Artemis. So, might as well, right? And weather conditions. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the weather. No one's going to stop me from conquering the enemy. So, uh, let's go over here. Why? Oh, I don't know. Why not? Um. I'm just going to dot some people about that I don't much care about. And it'll keep the enemy split up. Oh, looks like they're sallying forth. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's very fun. Oh, I like that. Alright, let's do something like that. These guys are going to be pushing up, but... Whatever. Okay, you can shoot those islanders. Uh, really? I don't see them. They have snipe. Oh, that's very strange. Oh well. Alright, you guys just stop where you are, yeah? You want to get some shots into these guys. Although, you do need to go and kill them. If you'd be so kind. So yeah, he should go down pretty quickly, I think. Your hero is under attack. <gasps> Not our hero! And now you can double back into them. 
Yeah, he should be fine. Arguably. Uh, let's see if we can get some damage into this guy. Because, I mean, they're pretty accurate, these guys. So let's see just how accurate they are. You really need to stop trying to shoot this guy. Well, at least he's dead, I suppose. Alright. So, 14, 14 health they've got. You guys should probably get out of there. These sword skirmishes are definitely going to wreck us, though. Okay, charge this way. You keep moving, please. Okay, their leadership is already starting to slip. And yeah, getting shot in the back like that should work wonders. Oh, so he's on 14-14. We haven't actually done much damage to him, but enough for him to start running. So, fair enough. That'll do. Can't really ask for more than that. And, oh, they're broken. They're broken. But we won, then. Is that it? No, they're still going somehow. Well, all right, then. Oh, these guys are back. All right, let's shoot him. Uh, let's get our uh, Argive Axeman to go fight uh, Radamanthus. So just wavering, huh? Well, good for you guys. Very brave of you. So, how long before they've broken, I wonder? There we go. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. He's shaken. Yeah, it's the flipping hero came back. Oh, what a jerk. Alright, come up here. Diomedes, you're going for Radamanthus. You lost him. There he is. Go for Radamanthus. Nope, he's given up. <laughs> good. I'd have given up too, but he's got no hope. Decisive victory. I thought so. Wonderful. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, we get it. You won. Jesus. My Diomedes just... You can tell he enjoys it. Let's just occupy the Salmon. So we have Corinth now, and that means we have at least 100 dominance because we did have the mission to, uh, where are you? Master Strategist. We can't even check because we got them already, as you can see. But, uh, conquer the capital, which we did. So we got 60 for that. Isn't that nice? Hooray for us. Um, Be uh, Bellerophon's Bridal. Gifted to the famed Monster Slayer by Athena herself, this bridal enabled uh, Bellerophon. Bellerophon? Bellerophon, I don't know, to tame the mystical Pegasus. Does that mean we get a Pegasus? I'd like a Pegasus. Um, the hero gains 15% speed in battle while on a chariot. That'd be pretty good. And plus 10% battle speed to chariot units. And plus 10% battle speed for cavalry units. I would like to get a bunch of cavalry. That'd be great. Corinthians, dead. Good news. And now, let's have a look. Uh, this is something that I was hoping to get. I did have a little look through um, his early... Uh, skill points when I played the first few turns um, earlier, and I definitely want to have night battles. Definitely want to have night battles. So, uh, enables night battle when attacking. Target cannot receive reinforcements, so it does put us at a disadvantage if we do want to have people join us, but it stops the enemy from receiving. Oh, actually, wait, it just says target cannot receive. So does that mean that we get reinforcements? Either way, like, it's, it's a night battle. We want night battles. I just forget exactly how they work mechanically in this game. Um, because every Total War has its own little nuances, so... But either way, um, we can, we can just jump people, which is great. I do like to jump people, so let's go with... You know, none of that. We need more wood, actually. Which is surprising. I thought we'd have plenty of wood by now, but... Um, because we have two settlements giving us that. But I'm not really doing much to build the things that give us the wood, because we don't have the wood to build the wood chopping facilities. Um, but that's fine, I suppose. We've got plenty of food, so we should probably go and spend all that, shouldn't we? Um, sadly, we don't have much to actually recruit. We've got some buildings that will help with that, though, don't we? Yes, we do, but they're, they're over here. I think. Right? So we're still getting built. Yeah, it's this that I wanted to build. So yeah, in, in a turn's time, we'll be able to recruit better units. Um, so that's, that's fine. We'll just chill here for now. I won't bother recruiting anything else. Construction available in Argolis, but yeah, just stuff that I don't want, so don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about it, game. Okay, their offers. They want a non-aggression pack, but they're willing to give us gold. So yeah, let's do it. I like gold. And I like non-aggression with people I'm supposed to be teaming up with. Against um, those ruddy Trojans. Grr. So their demands. Uh, they want to give me a bunch of food for bronze. Which I'm not really spending much of my bronze right now. I'm earning more than that. But I'm spending more food because I'm recruiting and honestly stockpiling a bunch of food. So I can get like another army. Um, up and running pretty quickly isn't a bad idea. So if it keeps Ajax happy, if it keeps Ajax happy, I'll do it. Seriously, why don't you have a moustache? Just the beard and no moustache is a look I always find incredibly bizarre. But anyway, because it's just like you, you grow a beard. Usually you grow a beard out of like you didn't shave for a while. It's sort of it's spawned out of laziness. But then to maintain shaving your upper lip, it's just that seems strange to me. But you know, whatever. You do what you want, Ajax. You giant man, you. So, let's agree. Okay, Paragon training complete. So now, Oath Keeper. if we go to our special recruitment panel, you can see we have a very high rank uh, Spearman of Polydoros, which uh, is the guy that we trained. Isn't that nice? And we can recruit him straight away. And, uh, well, he's going to have all those unique stats, and he does stand out with a different uh, different icon, which I really like. So that's fun. So it's got all his usual bonuses, but he's got the uh, extra flanking defense improved, and his damage is much higher than normal. Isn't that nice? I think it's nice. Although, it didn't go up as much as I thought it would, but whatever. I'm bad at maths, or maybe it's just a different sort of damage. Maybe it's because it only does weapon damage and not the other damages? I don't know. Whichever. So Paragon unit has completed training with one of the uh, Strategos, greatly enhancing their battle prowess through a combination of advanced teachings and a punishing physical regimen. You can now recruit the Paragon as part of your armies. You may initiate the training of another Paragon at any time. The Shining City. Uh, mission issued. Upgrade the main building of any settlement to its maximum level. The cities of your burgeoning state grow in stature. Continue their development and they will become glittering jewels of the Aegean. A settlement may be developed by... Uh, yeah, we, we know how to do that. Thirst for conquest. Maintain control of two provinces, either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Territorial control is key to growing your power. Yeah, it absolutely is. Absolutely. It's the point of the game. So yeah, I am going to attack these guys, I reckon. Uh, they've got a few settlements kicking about, including one with gold. And I like gold. Gold's good. I'd like to attack this too. In fact, they've got a lot of stuff everywhere. Huh. I think maybe get this one. And then head down here. They might send an army this way, though. I do wonder. I would like another army, I think. I think another army would be really beneficial. But, first off, uh, let's get some Argive swordsmen trained up a bit, shall we? That sounds good to me. And we'll give them the extra speed and uh, strider and everything else. Which uh, is jolly handy. So let's do that. So, Stelenos. Stelenos. Stenolos? Stenolos. Uh, the Stratagos has begun instructing one of your units. Good. Good. I'm glad. Duty I'm glad. Uh, let's go with some more young spears. Maybe. I don't know. This stuff's all so bad. Let's, let's wait a bit. In fact, I can get far enough here that I can recruit from my better building. So this is perfect. Let's get some... Uh, could get some some light spears would be good. So they've got poor attack, but they are swift footed. So they'll be nice for flanking. Um In fact, let's just pin Acknowledged. Let's pin that. Uh that is versus large, isn't it? Yeah. Like they're not they're not really a flanking unit, the light spearmen. It seems strange to have something that you'd still have as like a holding thing, but light and it, it's bizarre. Light spearmen are weird. Light spearmen seem to be in a weird spot. I don't know why you wouldn't just go with spearmen. Although light spearmen are better on the attack. But don't have a bunch of other bonuses. This is weird, but... I don't know. I don't know. Get some slingers. Let's get some, some Argive swordsmen, shall we? They actually have ammunition, which is interesting. They are, they are a medium weight class unit. So nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy. And good battle speed, too. So for a medium unit, 42 speed, it's not half bad. That's similar to... I mean, that's faster than spearmen. Uh, spearmen aren't, um, you know... I mean, they're medium as well, but still. It's faster than them. 
It'll do, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I like having faster units, so I don't think it's advertised as such. Um, I will get immediately. So that lowers upkeep cost of units, this army supplier. It will lower happiness, though, and happiness is already a bit rubbish. Why are you so rubbish? You don't have any fun buildings to put that up. Maybe you should get some fun buildings to put that up first. Uh, although, this is all good, isn't it? Yeah, let's get some more wood here. That'll do. All right, moving on. A defensive alliance. Uh, I mean, if he's willing to pay me, I'm happy to do that. Um, because I will be declaring a bunch of wars pretty soon. But he doesn't have to come along for the ride. Um, if he wants to invite me into a bunch of wars, that sounds like a giggle too. So yeah, why the heck not? Okay, it's your royal decree. We did. We did that. Aren't you proud of us? I'm proud of us. Uh, also means we're getting some stone income now, which is perfect. Royal stone. With stone, we shall build a legacy that will endure the ages. Expand the warehouses at once. And now we have an epic mission, finally. So construct one of each of the following buildings. Training camp. One of each of a training camp. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, while Thursander stood at Agamemnon's side, uh, Laodamus... Uh, son of Eteocles marched on seven gated Thebes with Thebes's ruler Thersander away to support Agamemnon's war against Troy the teacherous son of Eteocles oh he's so teacherous so forcibly educational the teacherous cur uh, Laodamos Damas Laodamos Laodamos has Laodamos Laodamos Laodamus Figaro has overpowered the Theban defences and retaken the Holy City, which you helped conquer when you were merely 14. I mean, when I was 14, I... I certainly wasn't conquering any cities, so, um... Showing off, innit? It's just a big old show-off. Uh, in the name of both your fathers and the seven against Thebes, Thersander asks that you prepare to march by his side once more as uh, one of the mighty Epigoni, or Epigoni, Ep Epigoni, a pigony, a pigony, a pigony, a pigony. It's an epigony now. I'm having an epigony. That's when you have like a inspiring thought about pigs. Uh, it's wonderful. So now I am in range of these guys who have decided uh, need to go down a peg or two, right? So let's take them down. What I'm going to do though, instead of just sort of you know right clicking, attacking, and then attacking, I am actually going to do it in diplomacy. I am interested in hearing what's on offer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you? Are you interested? He's, he's friendly. He actually really likes us, which is a little bit, um... Yeah! We will settle. He's got stuff I want. Like, he's got gold, doesn't he? Like, he's got gold, he's got food, he's got wood, he's got stone. I did tell you this was going to happen. That and I'd much rather conquer most of this continent before I go off anywhere else. So, um, you know, that's what it is. Uh, oh, let's upgrade Argos while well, here. So the reason I wanted to just declare war on them before I really take action is because I wanted to check out Master Strategist, because now we have new things to do. So, defeat the faction leader. That'll give us 30. So, uh, Agapino, we don't know where he is yet. Uh, conquer their capital, which is here. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, also... Raid resources from their regions. If I manage to raid 80 gold out of them, I'll get 50 dominance. If I sack or raise uh, Mantinea, which is this one. Uh, it's a shame to sack it, though, because I actually want the stone. But sure, I'll try and do that if I remember, which I probably won't, because I'm terrible at that. I just, I, My default stance isn't to, you know, raise or sack places. My default is always just to take it over because... I just don't like public order penalties. I find they're just an annoying thing that slows the game down. So I, I, I'm I, happy to forego any like a bonus income I'd get from sacking and just get the place. Um, I can just get on with my day. So, you know, I just never bother to do it. But I'll try. I'll try to. Just for the sake of, you know, story, I guess. So the sort of the narrative that this may lead to. I also need to kill a hero and win an ambush battle. That's interesting. So we've got a few very disparate things to do. So these objectives are very varied, which is really nice to see. But we are going to take out uh, Clytor here. So this is going to be mine in a minute. There is someone home, but, you know, it shouldn't be too, too much of a struggle. And we do have night battles. That's right, we have night battles. 
Uh, which I'm not sure will really do anything except give us some nice, you know, spooky lighting. So, you know, we'll see. Um, right, let's do it. Weather conditions. I don't want foggy night time because I can't see a thing. So I'm going to wait. Much better. Dry night time sounds, sounds great. Foggy night time. Just can't see two feet in front of us. Um, so, you know, good luck. So, this is quite impressive that we can vanguard right up to the front. I do like that about Troy, and it always surprises me. But it makes total sense, you know? You'd be able to vanguard right up to the city, because they, they don't spot you in time. But still, uh, what can vanguard? So these guys can vanguard. And these guys can vanguard. So I could actually do a little vanguard force on this side, which would be really cool. Uh, sadly, though... Sadly, though, our... Hero can't vanguard, which is very sad, but that's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Like, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. Uh, so, these guys can also vanguard. I really am just going to go all in over here, aren't I? And these guys can't. Okay. So the Argive Axemen can't. So fair enough. Fair enough. But I suppose that, that'll do. So I've got a bunch of militia and young spears as well, which, um, I mean, this is good enough to attack in here. These guys can rush into the middle and just be a pain, because that's the thing. These are worse units, but more killy than our spearmen. So, in fact, let's get these axemen to go with them. All right, these crappy units can just take, take hits for us, you know? Yeah, this should do it. So, you move up, and wow, they've just given up. Given up already. Don't even want anything to do with, with this area. That's perfect. Love that. Oh, you go attack those militia. Count on me. Count on me. I didn't know that song was one of uh, Diomedes's. I thought it was... I thought it was a much more recent band than... You know, <laughs> like several thousand BC. What is the date of Troy? Just dawned on me that I have no idea. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Right. I mean, does that matter? Really? Go on, get some shots in. Okay, so they're just going to keep running, are they? A bit sad. They're gonna keep doing that. And oh yeah, keep keep aiming for those young spears because we'll get a nice flank on these spearmen in a second. A nice way to wipe out a unit. Alright, you guys start chasing them. And you guys interrupt them. Perfect. Alright, can you get some shots into them? Probably mostly to the back of our own boys, but... Yep. <laughs> Sorry, these guys should break soon and we can push up more. Okay, guys, keep moving. And grooving. Well, one or the other. I mean, I'm not picky. I'm not fussy, you know. I'm not fussy. Uh, you are actually getting some good damage with these guys by the looks of it. But maybe... I should head over this way and shoot into this bunch while we wait for them to be done. And we do need to move our slingers separately, of course, on account of them being a bit broken. That's okay. Lots of things are a bit broken, you know? Who am I to judge? Is under attack. Well, yes, that was always the plan. Okay, you get... Up there, please. Back to both of you get up here. Now we really are just barging in, huh? They're <laughs> broken already. Okay, things are breaking before I can get my archers in position. These guys, too. And <laughs> those spearmen are gonna get completely surrounded as well. Oh, no, maybe not. 
This is actually quite mad. This is some serious momentum. I mean, I know it's a night battle, so they're probably suffering some leadership penalties for that. Let's have a look. Morale. Uh, unprepared for night battle. Minus five. It's not bad. So their base value is only in the 30s, you know. Not bad at all. Alright, how are things looking? They're finally broken. Perfect. Um, I guess shoot those spearmen? Victory! Is close enough to taste. It really does feel quite close, yeah. I don't like the rods. Really don't like the rods. Yeah, it seems it seems even the heroes are just like, yeah, screw this, I'm out. I did not sign up to the, the Greek army for this. It's not the Arcadia that people dream of. How's everyone doing? They're broken. It's really just this guy left, isn't it? Uh, oh no, no, these guys are still alive somehow. They're broken. Yeah, just those spearmen left. And, oh no, hang on. <laughs> They're shattered, never mind. That's army losses. Well played, everybody. Well played. Decisive victory. Oh, that's got a sting. Yeah, he just got wrecked. So much so that his arm seems to have fallen inside of his body. Could be behind him. That would make more sense. But um, I'm going to say that it's inside him now. That's how that's how much we cut his head off. Let's go with um, let's go with this tick option. That's a good option. I was going to say let's occupy, but I didn't have those options on that screen. So <laughs> let's just occupy. So I improve. Uh, Iron Ash Club. Uh, that seems pretty good. Extra 60 melee damage and plus two to motivation. You know. Oh. Cyrix's horn bow. This bow is made from the antlers of an elk or deer who was once the quarry of the most beautiful of nymphs. Uh, plus 12% to missile damage with missile units for the hero. That is a big, big deal. When, you know, it's a percentage bonus to like a huge chunk of damage. So I do like the idea of giving this guy a bow, but I'm not sure if we can give him that. Because it might be in a weapon slot. Yes, it is. And an extra 10 melee attack for the hero is pretty great. Hmm. I do really quite like that. I think we're going to keep it. Uh, Tydeus's exquisitely crafted sword, said to be the work of Hephaestus himself, bears the designs of a lion and a boar. I think, I think we want to keep that sword. We'll give this to someone else, who will eventually have a bunch of warriors of Artemis, no doubt. Also, plus three armor. Yay. I'm not sure how much of a difference that's going to make when he has 70 armor already. That extra three, though, that's going to be the three that saves him. Um, let's have a look. Uh, plus 10% melee attack and weapon damage of units with ferocity ability. I don't know if any of our guys have that ability, honestly, so that seems a bit of a weird one. Um, plus 4% melee defense of all units in this army. That's just a nice bonus to keep our boys alive while we set up flanking maneuvers, so let's go with that. I know, quite conservative. But uh, that's often often very helpful for a flank. You can't do a hammer and anvil if your anvil is is made out of brie. That's what I always say. So uh, let's carry on the turn. No, no. Royal decrees. We've got another decree to do. I need a treasure hall, even though um, there is one down here that I quite like, the plus two happiness. Um, I quite like. Extra growth is pretty good too. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff dotted around. But, yeah, if I go gold, I can then go with cadence drills, which is plus 8% battle speed of all units faction-wide. Extra speed. I've said it already. I love the extra speed. Extra speed is good. It's quicker. <laughs> That's my review of speed. Um, not speed 2, though. Speed 2. It's on a boat. It makes no sense. So, let's carry on. Barter agreement. Don't let these tiny amounts I'm not even gonna bother with. Like it's not worth the brain power. This is more interesting though. Single barter. They want a bunch of food. We do have a bunch of food, but they give us like ludicrous amounts of wood. Um I mean wood we have in pretty good production. But I mean I guess we have plenty of food already anyway, so I mean I guess this benefits us if we can get more buildings done. Um because I'm not building another army just yet. So that'll do. 
Maximum strength. We did it, guys. We did it. We're at maximum strength. We're really not. Also, I'm thinking now I do want another army, because it would be quite good to set up an ambush around here somewhere for any armies that may try and take out sort of weaker areas. Because if you look, these are great garrisons. Any just even, like, whiff of an enemy army, and this will fall. So we do really need to start getting some troops here, which uh, worries me a bit. But anyway, um, we got some extra resources for that, which is lovely. Lovely stuff. So, uh, yep. Let's keep putting up our wood production. And let's get more food production. Why the heck not? Sounds good to me. Uh, this place, not very happy right now, but eh, it's fine. Get a lot of food out of it. So yeah, 1,200 now per turn. I mean, that's not great, but it is enough to support some more troops. So, let's see. Uh, it looks like two to two is just going to be how this works, huh? Um, so let's get a warlord, I guess. Why not? Let's get a warlord. Um, he's elitist, plus two motivation after this army wins a battle, but not as part of the reinforcing army. Plus one to motivation after this um, hero ends a turn in an owned province with organized games. Uh -huh. If he loses a battle, he loses, obviously, and motivation is this hero ends a turn in an owned province with negative populace. Well, you don't have negative populace, do you? Yeah, maybe. Probably. You're on minus 27 there. So um, I think he's just going to end up getting very upset and leaving almost immediately. This character is destined for greatness when killed in battle. Oh, really? He's only wounded. All right. Fine. How about this guy? Prudent. Plus one to motivation after he ends a turn where Athena is respected. Okay. Plus one when a hero fights a battle against a weaker army. Oh, wow. Uh, if he loses a battle, he gets upset and... If he's in own, you know, neg yeah, they all hate negative populace. Um, fights a battle in own territory. He doesn't like fighting a battle in his own territory. That's annoying for someone we just want to sort of hang out. Uh, warlike. Uh, minus two to motivation after signing a peace treaty with a neighboring faction. Well, we're probably not going to do that. Uh, and, oh, minus one if he ends a turn garrisoned. And these are nice little things, but they aren't half annoying sometimes. Sentry. Okay, that sounds good. Plus one motivation if he's garrisoned or encamped. And when he wins a battle, as a defender. Okay. And then he loses motivation when he's in enemy territory or in forced march. That's fine. Let's get this guy then. That's perfect. Sort of. I, I say perfect. It's, it's fine. <laughs> It'll do. Um, it is acceptable. So, I think what I might do is just get some spearmen. For sure. And now, and we'll just hang out with them. And hopefully we'll be able to hold from anything that may strike from this area. Uh, while our main army sort of sweeps around. Um, because there's a few places we could potentially ambush before the end. Uh, let's have a look. Raiding, we need 50% of our movement. So we're not going to have to do that next turn. And how much is it for the ambush? Ambush, 25%. Uh, none of that is forest, apparently. I guess we're just going to run in to... Oh, I actually kind of want some replenishment before I go. Okay, how much to garret to... Not garrison, to whatever, encamp. 50%. Alright. Uh, I guess we around that. It's not great, but it'll do. So... Encamp, and then 50% movement will get me in here where I can raid or whatever else. So that should do it. So I think, guys, we're going to end this episode here. But we made a good start. And we made some enemies. And uh, we have some nice things to try and accomplish before we wipe out this faction. Which is kind of interesting. You know, the idea of trying to get these for all the dominance. Which currently we're not spending. And hang on, is there a maximum of 200? Maximum. There's a maximum of 200. So actually, unless we're spending this on um, trying to get resources out of people it'll sort of be pointless just trying to get all these but just the sheer challenge of it trying to accomplish most of these each time i think it'd be quite fun um just to sort of change up the gameplay a little bit even if it's not necessarily gonna be worthwhile uh we will have to try and spend some of this though in fact i haven't shown that yet so just as a last little thing uh uh no agria no no agria 
Sounds about right. If I go to negotiate with them... I can have a brief talk with Diomedes, I suppose. Well, that's nice to hear. Uh, I can go to barter agreement. What do we want? Probably stone. So, let's ask for... Alright, 80. Now, I'm going to just set this. I know that's bad, but if I then click on dominance... Okay, it'll spend 100. It's only 200 if you're trying to use it in order to confederate. Uh, but it's 100 cost. We'll give us plus 25. So look at that. We can pretty much get this for free. So I'll say have... I don't know. We're not spending any of our bronze yet. Wow, just one bronze gives us that much, huh? In that case, give me more than that. <laughs> Excellent. Give me 140 food per turn for five turns. I'll give you a bronze. Well, okay, five bronze in total. Pretty good, right? I'm bigger than you. Here's a bronze. Give me a bunch of stone. And they'll do it. Seems fair to me. See? <laughs> seems fair. So, uh, there. There you go. That's how dominance works. And it seems pretty powerful. It seems pretty useful. Um, just if you if you are able to accrue a bunch of it, just spend 100 whenever you have it on just free resources, essentially. Um, or, at some point, we may really like need it just to go, right, you, you belong to me now. Confederate, so I can just conquer like a whole, you know, region without even needing to declare war or anything. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool system. So anyway, yeah, we can exit the negotiations, and uh, now we're getting a bunch more stone income. So much more than we had before, which we are just going to sort of stockpile. Um, but still, it's good to have. So, right, that's where we're going to end it, guys. So, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day, guys.